Hold it. Welcome back to transforming this 1984 Jeep Grand Wagoneer from this to this overlanding beast. Previously, you saw us try to remove these wheels with excessive force, but unfortunately, the front tires won't come off, so I do have to undercoat these with the wheels on. But before I can do that, I gotta get suited up with some gear, get my wire wheel, and then I start wire wheeling years of grime that's built up. And the reason we're removing all this grime is when we bedline underneath these wheel wells, we want a clean contact surface, and this will look horrible when it's lifted. And you can see underneath here if I don't paint. With them. the first wheel well wire wheeled, I move on to hitting up the hitch here because I might as well paint this up while I have all this. Out. Then I move on to the other rear wheel well on the Tetanus Express and get that transformed as good as it gets. And of course I save the worst for last, so the last thing I gotta do is wire wheel down the front wheel wells, which just sucks because those tires are still stuck in there. Now that I definitely have tetanus from the rust, I need to clean up everything so I can get ready for paint. So I wipe everything down with wax and grease remover, get some cheap spray paint, and I'm painting up all the bare metal spots with the cheap paint. And I'm doing this so the bedliner has something better to bond to than just a slippery bare metal, which was there before. With the bare metal all painted, I can finally bedline these wheel wells, but sadly I'm out of time, guys, so fall to see that in the next video.